Hello, I am Ice Beast, and welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within. So as you may have noticed, I edited the last videos down. Edited the last video down because it was long, and I didn't want to post another 30 plus minute video. So instead I took the battle and I cut it to highlights of what I thought was interesting, and uh, then put it up. And I think it was a much better video than it would have been. What I'm going to try to do now, and in future videos, is actually talk about what sort of my plan is in the battle. And then edit the highlights, and then talk if my plan has to change drastically, I'll talk about that again, you know, at the next portions. The base portion part, I'll probably leave unedited. Because, well, you know, it's the base. So we got some money. We need to build a power plant, which I want to build right here. We're building our cybernetics lab. We also probably want to end up building a uh, workshop pretty soon here. Because it adds the, the much needed engineers for our next satellite uplink facility. Um, and I might... how many satellites am I building? One... might be good to buy some... build some more satellites. But for now I think we're just going to save our money. I do have some more medals that I got. I got the International Service Cross. The International Service Cross. Man, I cannot uh, speak right now. I think this is the better thing, but it's very late game. This is a much earlier game thing, but I think I'm going to just skip this one for now. We also have the Defender. We have two Defenders medals. Hmm. Um, I think I'm going to actually take the uh, Never Panic thing. I, this is a powerful ability. Oof. These are both really good. This is a really hard choice. Never Panicking is really nice, although I can give them a bigger will bonus in the Officer Training Club school facility. Uh, I'm going to take this one. We're going to call this... Uh, we're going to rename this the... Uh, um, what should we call it? So we have the Don't Die Badge, and uh, let's see, Get Well Soon Medal. Alright, so we have the Get Well Soon Medal and the Don't Die Badge. We're going to award the Get Well Soon Medal to, let's see, we have, I think to our Assault. Because I'm assuming our Assault is probably going to take some damage from just the, uh, what their, uh, their general position is. And the rest of our guys are getting healed, so we're not going to give them anything. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to just view our soldiers real quick um, to see who's got good stats. Excellent. So I can tab. So Safari Muthambi. Oh, Lena. Lena Malinowska. Looks really good. We're probably going to use her on our next mission. Hmm. like these other ones. Good. So, if we can't take anybody else, it will be Lena Molinowska. Hmm. And I guess Nicole King will be the two we bring on the next mission if none of these people heal in time for our next mission. Anyway, let us go um, back to the mission control. So, I believe we will get a UFO next. Our research completed. We can now build the scope, which is fantastic. That scope will help us a lot with... Um, the scope will help us a lot. So the scope will help us a lot, especially with our sniper when she's shooting using her squad sight, which is a very long-range shot ability. And, uh, and so I think that will help us uh, good. <laughs> Not speaking... Once again, Ice Beast can't speak English. Alright, we'll take uh, Xenobiology, because apparently it's a priority. I expected that would be a priority research task. Well, you Commander. put it as a priority research task. Of course you expected it to, to be a priority research task. Alright, let's go back to Mission Control. Cybernetics Lab's gonna be done soon. So that's exciting. Here's our Cybernetics Lab. I guess you put your dude in there. You know, the thing that looks like an MRI machine. Let's uh, go check out our cybernetics facility. So, how do I... Oh, Augment Soldiers. Got it. So I cannot augment a rookie. I kind of want to not augment anybody until I get two more 
people set up and then augment that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to augment quite yet. Alright, so let's scan for some activity. Alright, it is time to launch a satellite because nothing happened. So let's see who is close. The most panicky. Well, all of North America is pretty panicky. So Egypt would give us another engineer. The downside of launching here is that, uh... The downside of launching here is that we don't get a ton of money and we already have this continent bonus. Hmm. I'm receiving you. We'll monitor that contact. But I don't think it's related to the UFO activity. That's fine. So... What does future combat do again? I know what air and space does. I think I have to launch and try to lower just the, the, these two guys. Otherwise I'm in danger of losing them. But taking the United States would be so much better just for the money. I'm not going to lose them this turn, and I'll have two satellites I can launch next time to produce them if need be. I think I am going to launch in the United States to try to get the money. So that's what we're going to do. And then what we're going to have to do is uh, build an airplane in North America. Alright, excellent. Let's go back to mission control, scan for activity, the council report should happen. They're fantastic. They're all the excited. XCOM project thus far, Commander. Oh crap! Your the one thing I may have not have enough for though is um and that is power. This makes so I need to build a power generator. We How long does that gonna take? Touch, Five days. Whew, this is gonna be close, but I think I'll have enough time to build my satellite uplink facility. From what little I've seen of their technology, should have just enough time to build a satellite uplink facility. Alright, we got our, uh, our power facility, so now we should be able to build a satellite facility right here. Fantastic. Alright, so now this will be done in 14 days. Excellent. That's more than enough time. We'll have plenty of time to get these three satellites ready to go, and we'll have three satellites to launch for next time. So that's good. Now we should get a UFO right around now. Oh no, abductions. Hmm. Commander, we have multiple reports of new abductions. So engineers in Russia. The locations are marked on the hologram. Scientists in Mexico. Or an assault sergeant in Japan. Hmm. Mexico gives me scientists. Russia gives me engineers. I think I want the scientists. All right, let's get them scientists. So what I really want to do is get one new character. I have two heavies. We're going to get rid of one of our heavies. We are going to put um, Lena in. Man, we just have like a female-oriented army. And then we're going to put in our, uh, our assault this time. We're actually going to edit this unit, change her loadout, we're going to give her the scope. We're going to give this lady the uh, nanofiber vest just so she doesn't die right away. We need to give one of you... I wish I didn't have to do this. Hmm. Actually, I'm not going to give you the nanofiber vest this time. I'm going to give you a grenade because I really want that grenade. The heavy has a rocket launcher and a grenade. Hmm. And one of these people needs med kit. So it's going to be the assault with the med kit. Lena, or the Anastasia here can now stay way back because she has the uh, Scott sight ability. So our strategy is going to be to move towards that belt. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to slowly sort of move around this way with our main, with our units and this guy can sort of move this way. And she can kind of just chill back here as long as she has a line of sight on enemies. She should get her squad sight to kick. So that's what we're going to do. You have 
kind of full cover, so I think you can overwatch. You hunker down, and you have full cover, so you can overwatch. You can sort of see the general strategy. Overwatch in full cover, hunker down in partial cover. Enemies to the right. Two sectoids to the right. Yeah, with the shotgun, he's gonna hit. No way, that just happened. <laughs> and he's like, no way! I just shot you with a shotgun! No way! Now, in theory, our sniper should have a shot, and she does, because of squat save. That's what the little uh, clock thing there means. She's got a 53% chance of hitting. There's absolutely no reason not to take this shot from this range. She misses, always aiming up to the left. She's got to work on compensating for that. Our heavy is out of range of that uh, enemy. Oh, there was, this was a reason not to take that shot. It's the fact that we spawned two new sectoids. And this is actually our, uh, this is full cover, right? So he's gonna shoot. Who are you gonna shoot at? Whoa. That's fine. Enemies moving around. Are you gonna shoot? No, you went into Overwatch. Interesting. Alright, so you have lots of shots now, Anastasia. 73 on that guy. 53 on that guy. Where's the third shot? How about this guy? Well, apparently she has a third shot, but she can't take it. Alright, take that guy out, Anastasia. I got faith in you. There you go. Fantastic. That is Anastasia, right? Yeah, that's Anastasia, and that's Alexandra. And this is Lena. Lena Mol Molinska. So that guy's no longer in full cover. Or no longer overwatching, I should say. So if we come like this, she only has a 40% shot. What about with the Granado? Not quite with the Granado. Yeah, and this is... That's, uh... Would be a bad... Bad thing. Alright, let's take the rocket shot. Rockets away. He's going to move up just a little bit. Oh, he was in Overwatch. That was a mistake. Got lucky. I remember he went into Overwatch, too. That was, that was a mistake by me. Well, we got a 57%. Let's do it. Let's do it. One and two. Run that. Won that. Roll the dice. All right, so we know there's some enemies over here. I don't know what we're going to do about them. I'm gonna move, I'm gonna change my, my angle, my view angle. Oh. Someone just got a, uh, oh, that sucks. Unexpected, uh, overwatch shot. We'll always take it with our sniper. She should get that kill nice and easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. That's a dash. Eh. Affirmative. Moving out. Nope, real good place Moving to put her, so she'll just have to move up there. This is, this is a bad positioning, because once again, single rocket. Kaboom! No, oh, I, I really thought we were going to spot somebody coming in here. Moving. That's what we're looking for. Oh, we're not going to get that meld at all. That's okay. That meld is completely lost to us. Fine with it. Yes, Commander. Unfortunately, our sniper is in, in a bad position. So we're going to actually relocate her slightly this way. To, to just sort of refocus her frame of fire. What's making that noise? If I had to hazard a guess... Oh, that's interesting. Perhaps we should try to avoid those tentacles. 
I don't like the fact that they're now in stealth mode because I can't see them. I mean, I'm wondering if they're still on the same basic location. She doesn't have a rocket anymore. She can't hit from here. Not a big fan of that. That's affirmative. Hmm. I haven't, I haven't fought these guys before, so I don't really know what the right course of action is. So what I want to do is fall back and give people uh, crossing fields of fire. That was fantastic. Anastasia wins it for us again. Anastasia gonna save the day again. Oh no, she missed! That's not good. Might lose our rookie here. Is she gonna die? She's getting strangled. Can you kill him? Try it with our assault. Alright, so that's the first time I've ever had that happen before. Two thin men. One of them's dead. Which is fantastic. Not happy about the other thin man because I don't know where he is. If you come here, do you see him? She does see him. Does our sniper get a shot on him? 40%. What about with your grenade? Just not quite in range could blow that wall though, so we're going to take that risk and hope that she blows the wall, clears the uh, the cover. Did she clear the cover? She cleared the cover. Fantastic. I'm guessing he's in Overwatch. And where could he run and gun to? Here. That's where he's going. And hopefully he kills him right here. 85, come on man, don't fail me now. Excellent. Fantastic mission. That went pretty well. We got one meld, wanted to get two, but I'm pretty happy with it. Got the, uh, the scientists. Nobody died. Only one person got sort of my... Oh, two people got injured. Hopefully uh, not a lot of injured, though. not long sustained injuries. Fantastic. Oh, and we can build the officer training school. Also fantastic. And Anastasia is now ready to become an even more badass sniper. Damn good ground. Taking it. Fantastic. And then we'll want to build that officer training school if we can afford it. That's what we're going to check right now. Can we afford the officer training school? No, we can't. We need more money. Now we will quickly visit the uh, black or the gray market to see if we can sell anything. Uh, I think we're going to have to wait. I think we're going to have to wait. Alright. Well, that's where we're going to end this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Oh, I got to send a satellite to Japan. That's what we'll be doing at the end of this episode. Anyways, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you on the next episode.